Howdy, my name is Abby Ahrens and I'm the coordinator for Outdoor Adventures at the Student Rec Center. I'm here to teach you a tutorial on knot tying. So if you're interested in learning how to tie a figure eight follow through, a bowline or a double fisherman's knot, or you wanna know how to use these knots, keep watching. The first knot I wanna teach you how to tie is called the figure eight follow through. This knot is typically used in climbing because it's great in keeping your climber safe. Whenever a weight is applied to the knot, it naturally cinches down on itself, so it's less likely to come untied while your climber is climbing. So that's why it's so safe. Um, so to start tying this knot, what you're going to do is start with the tail in your hand. You're going to stretch out that rope and measure to about that much. It's a very non-specific measurement just because everybody's wingspan is slightly different, and it varies depending on the thickness of the rope with which you're tying this knot. So about from one hand to the opposite shoulder, roughly. You're gonna take that um, side of the rope that you measured out and you're going to cross in front of the other strand. You're gonna cross behind. And then you're gonna take that tail that you uh, have been working with and you're going to stick it in this little loop from the front that you just created. So just like so, and then tighten it up. And then you've got this nice little figure eight here. This is gonna be the base of your figure eight follow through. So you need to start with this in order to do the rest of the knot. All right, so to continue our knot, we've started with our figure eight, the base of our figure eight follow through. We've got our working tail here. So what we need to do now is go around our object. So if you're climbing, you can use your harness, but if you're not using your harness, you can use any other object. So I'm gonna use my water bottle. So I'm gonna take my working tail and go through the cap. And now I've got my uh, tail around an object so I can finish out the knot. So what we're gonna do is run our tail through our knot parallel to this rope that went to our object. So once it comes back around our object, now we're gonna take this and follow it back through parallel to that one. So I'll show you what that looks like with a better angle here in just a second. All right, so we've got our figure eight, we've got our rope, our working tail that's going around our object here, and now we've got our working tail that we need to thread back through. So what we're gonna do is follow this rope here parallel all the way back through the knot. So I'm gonna start by going up underneath this bar of rope here, comes through, pull it tight, so I have some slack to work with, and then we're gonna go around our strand here because it comes around the back. So I'm gonna pull our tail around there and then it goes down diving behind these two bars here so i'm going to go down behind those two bars pull it tight there we go it comes around and then it comes back up through this hole right here so i'm going to follow that around with my tail so it comes around and then jumps back up that hole so you pull it tight and there you go it's running parallel the entire way. So to identify your knot as tied correctly, you need to make sure that you have five sets of parallel lines. And that just means that you have 10 parallel lines together. So here are two, four, six, eight, and 10. So that's five sets of parallel lines. And then the other thing you need to make sure you have is at least six inches of tail here to make sure that your knot doesn't come untied unexpectedly. So if you measure out about a gigum here of tail, that's about six inches. So you can measure out about that much. So it looks like I've got six inches plus plenty to spare. So my knot has a lot of slack there. So there you go, that's your figure eight follow through. All right, so the best thing you can do for yourself whenever you're learning how to tie a new knot is just use that repetition. Kind of get that muscle memory established in your head so that you don't have to think so much about each time you tie the knot, whether or not you're doing it correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and combine all of our steps so it's just one long sequence. So go ahead and follow along with me to kind of get that repetition started. So what you're gonna do is take your tail in your hand. You're gonna measure out about that much, right? You're gonna take that tail and you're going to cross it in front, cross it behind, and then come in from the front with your tail um, of that loop you just created. So pull it tight, and then you've got your figure eight right there, the base of your figure eight follow through. Then you need to go around your object with your tail. So I'm gonna take the tail that we measured out and we finished our figure eight with, and go through my calf here, just like so, and then we need to take our tail back through that figure eight. So we're gonna follow it parallel all the way up. So I'm gonna start by going up. It comes around behind our strand here. So kinda of pull it tight. Then 
you need to dive it back down because it comes around here and goes under these two bars right here of rope. So I need to follow it back down under those two bars. Let me get my fingers out of the way here. And then it comes around and comes back up through this hole here, the last one. So we're going to follow it around, coming under and back through that last hole. Tighten it up and you've got your figure eight follow through. So you got to make sure you've tied it correctly. So you need those 10 parallel lines or five sets of parallel lines. So two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's 10 sets of parallel lines, five sets I mean, and at least six inches of tail. So about a gigam. I've got a couple extra inches here. So that's how you tie your figure eight follow through. Hopefully you can use this for your repertoire now. You can use it in climbing. You can use it to create a dog leash if you are in need of one. You can tie it around an object to make sure you don't lose something. Any of those are great options for tying this knot. So hopefully you enjoyed it and you want to learn more.